the AED, etc., the important medical stuff that is needed is right here uh, across this rack. Another express rack for science, another express rack for science here. So as we come uh, farther in over here, this is called the robotics workstation. And the idea, of course, is you can fly the arm from this guy right here. Uh, so this is where your camera views, so you can look outside to see what the arm is doing from this camera views. You have a controller that will set up how you're going to fly the arm and put it into the correct mode for flying the arm. And then these are your hand controllers. The one is for translation, which means, of course, left, right, up, and down. And then this is attitude control over here. So if you want to pitch it up, pitch it down, yaw, roll, like that, you do it with this. And you do a combination to make the arm go where you want it to go. That's good. We have two of these. We have one here in the lab and one in the cupola. And uh, they both have different uh, advantages and disadvantages depending on where you want to go with it. Let's see, besides that, we have over here is actually a trainer for using the arm. So this is kind of a setup, the same idea, but what it is, this is just all software, and then, so we can actually practice using the arm right here. And it's kind of nice, because if you're going to grapple a coming vehicle, it's uh, great to get a few practices in before you actually do have to do the real thing. It helps out a lot to have this. And we usually set it up and then make it a, a video game, because it's all set up ready to go for us to practice and it takes only about a minute or two minutes to, uh, to run and make a run of it. So we'll go sit there and uh, put your quarter in, uh, run the game and then uh, get a little practice and then we go ahead and move on after that. As we move here, this is more just avionics rack here. We got the uh, like air conditioning system, uh, computers again that run the, on the station and some stowage up above. Well, that's pretty much the lab. As we move this way again farther aft, we go into node one which is pretty much just like Note 2. It's a little older, uh, with the same concept, same design, and what's where we really eat and have that, uh, our food, etc., uh, set up a little sort of like a table uh, where we watch a little TV, we watch movies sometimes on the weekends here. And this is kind of our, our area for uh, relaxation. If you look over here, and this is our uh, our table. Now really when we eat, it's more like I think we prepare here. We really don't eat on the table here because there's no reason to eat on a table. So what we'll do is we'll help prepare things here, keep things stuck to the Velcro or the tape as we need it to. And then when we want to eat though, you're actually just holding it here, uh, and letting it float or eating it to do what you need to do while you eat. And uh, as we sit around here, if we want to throw on something on a, uh, a movie on or something to watch uh, during uh, while we're eating. Uh, so that we don't have to talk to each other, that's how it gets old. And uh, we'll do that right here as we do it. This right here is our food warmer. Uh, so uh, we take the packets of food, go ahead, throw them in here, heat them up. And uh, this is actually the art of the week. So we're getting uh, pictures from uh, the, the kids of people who work on the ground force, the ground team, which we truly appreciate. We have their kids send us a picture every week. Of, uh, of art, so it's like refrigerator art. Uh, we put it on our heater here because we really don't have a refrigerator right here. So we use that and then we have a new one each week on there. Besides that, we have more storage here, here, all the way around. You can also sell the color if you look around here, it's kind of interesting how it uh, used to be white, but after uh, over 10 years of people living on this thing, uh, or over 10 years for sure, uh, it's got a little stained. And that's one thing about eating up here is uh, it's a mess. Every time you open a package, uh, as you think about it at home, when you, you open a package, you pull it to open, what you're actually right here you're doing, you're putting energy into this package, and it squeezes up and it goes boom, and it pops. When it pops, things come flying out. And sometimes you contain it, sometimes you don't. And uh, hence, we got uh, stains everywhere. Uh, I think that's it pretty much for, well, over here is where we keep our food, I should say that right here. Food storage. Uh, so this is always interesting. Uh, so we have things uh, categorized a little bit into, of course, uh, people's own little food they have, and we have breakfast and sides, etc. So if you want something out of breakfast, you come over here. You look, and of course, right now we're hurting for breakfast because uh, we got uh, uh, scrambled eggs, as bad as left, and maybe some sausage patties. We all like uh, granola and uh, um, oatmeal, and so that runs out in about two days for us. For we every seven days we get a new uh, package of food for that. So. Uh, breakfast isn't always great around here for us. But so we, we have uh, those around here for that. Again, some more stuff to eat, and that's how we keep it all uh, uh, organized a little bit for our foods. Up here is where the meat packages are. If today we want to heat something up, again, these are the type of things you heat up. These are our meats. 
throw that in the heater. And then about 10 minutes later, you can eat it. So from here, if we go starboard, we go into the airlock. If you, can, if you look on here, it's just starboard. That right there is the airlock. And there's two parts to the airlock. The closest part to us, which would be this part right here, is called the equipment lock. And the most starboard part is called the crew lock. And the crew lock is where you actually go out of when you do a spacewalk. It's what actually depresses down the vacuum, and that's where you open the hatch. So we come in here. This is now into the equipment lock right here. And the idea of the equipment lock, of course, is where the equipment is. And then it's also where the suits are, and this is where we actually suit up. And we have these little structures right here that the suits are on. And they're called ADAs, which is an acronym. And I don't even know what it stands for, but it's an acronym, E-D-D-A. Uh, but that's where the suits are on. And we actually have them on here uh, to, when we get in, we can pop off basically the pants, put the pants on, and we climb up in here with the helmet off, and we get on in the suit, and we're all ready to go. Uh, the person who's helping us get the uh, suit up will take us off and stick us in to the crew lock over here, which again right now it was full of a bunch of stuff. And then once I, once, but that would be empty of course for an actual spacewalk. We close this hatch right here and uh, depress this part out to vacuum and open the hatch it's down that way is where the hatch is where you open. And you can see there's all sorts of equipment we have. This is a good in stowage right now because we're not going to do a spacewalk for a little bit. So we just have it more stowed right now for everything on the, on the spacewalk side.